The history of Anguilla runs from the beginning of human habitation, probably via settlement from South America, through its colonization by the English in the early modern period, to the present day. Following a series of rebellions and a short-lived period as an independent republic during the 1960s, Anguilla has been a separate British overseas territory since 1980. Pre-Columbian Anguilla The earliest inhabitants of Anguilla were Amerindian people from South America, commonly if imprecisely referred to as Arawaks. These people traveled to the island on rafts, and indeed out canoes, settling in fishing, hunting, and farming groups. Forty Arawak villages have been excavated, the largest being those at Island Harbor, Sandy Ground, Sandy Hill. Rendezvous Bay, and Shoal Bay East won the Amerindian name for the island was Malirahana. The earliest Amerindian artifacts found on Anguilla have been dated to around 1300 BC, and remains of settlements dating from at 600 have been uncovered. Religious artifacts and remnants of ceremonies found at locations, such as Big Springs and Fountain Cavern, suggest that the pre-European inhabitants were extremely religious in nature. The Arawaks are popularly said to have been later displaced by fiercer Carib, but this version of events and characterization is disputed by some. Colonial Anguilla The European discovery and renaming of the island is uncertain. Some who claim it had been sighted by Columbus, others who credit it to the French explorer René Gaulain de Ordonia during his voyages in 1564 and 1565. Three. Anguilla was first conquered and colonized by English settlers from St. Christopher beginning in 1650, for a local council was formed, overseen by Antigua. Six years later, natives from another island attacked, killing most of the men, and enslaving the women and children won in 1666, 300 Frenchmen attacked the island driving the settlers into the forests won it was subsequently returned to the English by the terms of the 1667 Treaty of Breda. The French and Irish together attacked in 1688, driving the English off the island to Antigua, and periods of drought during the 1680s left conditions, so poor that many Anguillians left for St. Croix and the British Virgin Islands in 1694, one in 1724. The population had rebuilt to 360 Europeans and 900 Africans 5. In 1744, during the War of the Austrian Succession, 300 Anguillians and two privateers from St. Christopher invaded the French half of neighboring St. Martin, holding it until the 1748 Treaty of aix la chapelle one two French frigates landed 700. One or one thousand. Five men at Crocus Bay on Anguilla in 1745, but were repulsed by 150 militiamen under Governor Hodge I. In 1796, amid the Napoleonic Wars, two French warships landed 400 Frenchmen at Rendezvous Bay under Victor Hughes V. These were able to destroy the villages at South Hill and the Valley, but the local British regrouped on the long path before Sandy Hill Fort. The HMS Lapwing Sailing from St. Christopher under Captain Barton, Five was able to defeat the French ships and the assault again ended in failure one. Attempts were made to develop Anguilla into a plantation-based economy employing enslaved Africans, but the island soil and climate were unfavorable and the plantations were largely unsuccessful. Anguilla's population is estimated to have fallen from a peak of around 10,000 citation needed to just 2,000 citation needed in 1819. There were 360 Europeans, 323 Africans, and 2451. Slaves 5 The British abolished slavery in their colonies during the 1830s. While the plantation owners returned to Europe, the freedmen continued to eke out livings on Anguilla as subsistence farmers and fishermen. There were droughts and famines in the 1830s and 1840s. The British government attempted to send the entire population of the island to Demerara in British Guiana modern Guyana, but most remained one in the 19th century. The large lake in the center of the island was exploited for salt exported to the United States, 
around 3 million bushels were produced each year 5 this formed. The island's principal trade, although sugar, cotton, and tobacco were also produced 6. In 1871, Anguilla was forced into a federation with St. Kitts. The next year, the islands petitioned the British colonial office to permit separate and direct rule. Around this time, the population had risen to 3,000. Six in 1882, Nevis was added one the population had risen to 3890 by the time of the First World War seven by that time. Charcoal production had essentially deforested the entire island, but the expanded pasture land permitted export of cattle to St. Thomas. Phosphate of lime was also produced 7. It was not until 1951 that Anguilla had a greater say in its administration. The British colony of St. Christophe and Nevis Anguilla, itself part of the federal colony of the Leeward Islands. Between 1958 and 1962, the tree state was part of the West Indies Federation.